What's happening everyone? Welcome back to Odin Reacts. Now this is our first ever reaction uh, interview to and um, with a female artist. Her name is Esther. Now what I'm going to do before we get into the interview, I'm going to drop um, a link to her YouTube channel in our comments. So please go and subscribe and listen to her, her music. She's dropped a brand new single that's hit, hit over half a million views. Yeah. Um, and it's called Pouring, so please go and support that. Um, so, yeah, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Esther, and I'm an artist, and I'm 18 years old. I don't know any other cool facts about me, but yeah. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. And welcome to the channel as well. Welcome to the channel. So the first question I've got for you really is, is of course, you're an artist, um, so it's going to be to do with music. What started you um, thinking about or creating music? Um, I think I got a bit bored in the lockdown. So I just started, um, because I've always sang since I was young. Yeah. So I started making covers on Instagram because I was like, oh, what else is there to do? I've always kind of, my friends were saying you should make a singing account. So I just finally did it in the lockdown. And then um, my manager found me off that. So really getting to create my own music only started the big, well, beginning of 2020 when he found me. And then, um, yeah, I mean, I had done a little bit of writing by myself, but it never, I'd never really taken it that seriously. I didn't think I was that good. So I just left it. But um, yeah, as I've said, I've always been singing, but definitely creating music has only started 2020, I think. I love that how you've kind of, I've spoke to so many different people that have, have kind of changed, you know, career paths or decided to do something new in lockdown, to de decided to do something positive. Yeah. Um, what I like about that, what you've just said to me is that you've always sung. Yeah. Um, so, and so you've kind of took that opportunity to do something different in lockdown. And then it must have been an amazing feeling for somebody to message you or however they contacted you and say, I love your music let's do something, you know, let, let's let's create some music together um, and, and start a career. I mean, what was that feeling like when you got that message? It's so funny because when I put out the first video, obviously you see massive like online sensations like Justin Bieber and yes. Chloe and Halle who'd blown up from YouTube just posting covers. And I remember posting and thinking, oh God, what if this was like something like that? And um, obviously I kind of was like, oh, that's so stupid. But when I got this message from Jesse, who's my manager, at first I was kind of like, yeah, right. Cause he was so, well, he's, he is, he's so, um, he believes in me so much as an artist. He really thinks like you're going to be one of the top people, you know, like if you're, if you, if you're driven to get there, you'll, you'll make it. Um, so he, he had this passion for my music from the beginning. So I, and I'm quite like a, I don't like to say um negative person, but I'm quite like, if it's too good to be true, it won't happen. You know what I mean? Yes. So I just couldn't believe it. And, um, yeah and then as we started talking more and um he was speaking about the plans like that I it was it was like it was literally like it sounds so corny but it was like meant to be you know what I mean like yes. that like how he had seen the video and you know it just so happened to pop up in his timeline like I was like this is actually meant to happen so it was unbelievable but like it's happening you know what I mean yeah it's it's amazing that it's kind of come across because a lot of people you know um I think we're in the best age um, with regards to music, with regards to being noticed, because we've we've all got a platform. It doesn't matter how big or small we are as artists or as people, whatever we're doing, we've all got a platform to kind of showcase our talent, showcase what we've got to the world. And I yeah. think, um, you know, even going back 10 years ago, it was really hard. I mean, look at GRM Daily, look at channels like that, Link Up TV, these massive channels. Artists get to showcase themselves on there on a regular basis. You know, you see three, four, five, yeah. six videos being posted per day. And, you know, these artists have got kind of a, an opportunity to get seen by the world, you know, by millions of people. Yeah. So it's it's kind of, it's really good to, to hear that, you know, um, you've you've kind of taken advantage of a kind of negative situation. You know, the the lockdown, and um, showcase something for it. Have you have you featured with any other artists, or do you have, or can you tell us um, if you've got any other kind of um, features in the pipeline uh, with regards to your music? Yeah, we've actually um, I've got a really cool feature. We're we're just actually working on the um, finishing touches of the song. But um, I don't know if I'm allowed to. I think yeah. it's down to me whether I say it. I'm just gonna like, do I? Um, but I think we're announcing it on um, the Shade Room on Instagram. Um, and go follow them, guys. Go follow them. Yeah, yeah. Go follow them. Stay um, tuned. But, 
yeah she's just amazing I really look up to her just in the way that um she her presence as an artist and just as a person like I spoke to her on the phone and she's so um like you can't help but look and listen to her you know what I mean so um yeah and also as a, a female in the industry as well like she's just someone I look up to so I'm really excited to do uh, a song with her um but yeah that'll be out very very soon um other features I think we're kind of because I'm working on my well we don't know if it's gonna be an album or an EP yet yeah but I definitely would love to work with some more people like I'm like working with people even um just going to studio in London like you meet so many different people and you talk to so many different people and it's really interesting just to like to get advice from people like because with music mm. I guess like because there's so many different genres and there's so many like it's so intricate like speaking to people it's just so interesting like yeah it's yeah <laughs> and I think with musical with anything if you're trying to be successful um it's all about building connections you know genuine yeah. connections where, where you connect with people on on a certain level you know energy wise and, and things like that it always works you know for me I always believe that if you're going to be successful you know uh, the best way to to kind of develop success is to be happy and enjoy what you're doing um yeah definitely you know so it, it's good to know that you've got some music in the pipeline as well um because i think with a lot of artists that kind of start out it's you know they, they get a couple of singles going and then it's kind of from there it's like right you know if that artist continues to push continues to put music out there and you know what the audience might grow tenfold you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's about consistency. Yeah, and I think you know, there's there's a great market for music. I think there always has been a great market for music, uh, male and female UK music. Um, and as well, I think it's every artist's dream to kind of blow internationally. You know, get yeah. get noticed internationally. You notice that with a lot of UK artists, they start off in the UK, they build a really good fan base, uh, and they gain a lot of respect, um, yeah. and then they go internationally. You know. Um, like a big artist like Skepta, for example, he he yeah. built over years, you know, in an industry where there was very, very small social media when he started. He started off with like a small video camera and posting it on like very, very small channels or, or like channel, uh, what you call it, TV channels and then blown himself up and then went international, you know. And I think the good thing is with having a label behind you or, you know, somebody who's who's managing you, they they've got the experience to kind yeah. of say right this is the next move what do you think you know yeah and i think if you've got a good relationship with a manager or with a label it's always good it's so important i think to have a good relationship with your manager i mean like me and my manager like, i really do see him as like an older brother figure he's yeah. really like i can speak to him about anything and that's so important because especially like my age as well i go through like you know teenager you always have boy yeah. drama and blah 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 <laughs> and um I can speak to him about that and tell him like what's up with that you know I can throw the odd well, the odd he'd say it's every day like temper tantrum you know yeah. so it's really important that you have a good relationship with your manager definitely because if you're working with a stranger especially people that um I think who are successful I know that if you start off independently completely independently and then you blow I understand that yeah you do need a manager and it can be difficult to have a connection with them because obviously you're just having to meet them from a business perspective but um yeah it's definitely important I think and it makes the world of a difference what advice would you give to anyone who's kind of starting out with music and they're at that cusp where it's oh I don't know whether I should continue doing it on my own or or should I should I work with with a manager like what what kind of advice would you would you give someone who's just starting out um I would say that I think it's definitely important to have a group of people. So if you hear a load of voices, my family is having some sort of game night. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's completely fine. Like my, <laughs> my camera switches off all the time through recordings and don't worry about it. It's fine. Honestly. Things happen. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say that um, it's definitely important to have a support network around you, especially yeah. in this um, industry, because, you know, all sorts happen. I don't, every, like everyone knows about the industry. It can get yeah. really difficult and nasty even. Um, but, yeah, I say definitely having a support network, having a manager is brilliant. I mean, I understand that um, people can be reluctant to sign because, you know, they're not sure if people are shady or whatnot. But um, my advice literally would just be, it doesn't have to be a manager, just anybody to be able to say to you, like, look, like, not in a way of being negative, 
or overly positive somebody that you actually know is real with you and say yeah. to you look I don't think you should do this or I think you should do that because in this um I think I'm only just starting and there are so many people around me that just kind of say things I'd like to hear and um you you can't have that because that it can really put you in the wrong place you know what I mean yeah yeah I think like yeah I totally agree with what you're saying with regards to the guidance and support you know yeah. uh, not making rash decisions and reading your paperwork and reading you know the actual terms and conditions and and what goes between the lines and if you're happy with that you know then then continue you know continue yeah. for sure um i'm looking forward to know you know who the artist is that you're collabing with i think personally um i'm not just saying this because i'm interviewing you um and you hear on screen but i think if you continue to make music i think them them features and them doors will continue to open and I've yeah. always I've always said that to kind of talented artists that I either listen to or or talk to, you know, on a musical or friendly basis is, you know, for me, I was told with YouTube, consistency is key. Yeah. You know, if I'm continuing to put content out there, and I think it's exactly the same with, with artists, you know, because um, if you're putting EPs and albums out there, you know, um, there's a chance you could get on the charts, for example, you know, mm. and then there's there's external sources that will will push your music, you know. Mm. Um, did you did you have kind of any um, or do you have any motivations um, like any motivational figures with regards to artists or people that kind of inspire you? You know, when you have your bad days and it's like, yeah. you know what, I can't, I don't want to reply to this. I don't want to, don't want to focus on my my kind of business side of things today is there something that kind of keeps you motivated when when you feel like you don't want to do anything with regards to music um, yeah I mean um I know this is gonna sound so like everyone says it but it's there's a reason everyone says it and Beyonce I've watched like documentaries about her and just how she is in general yeah her drive and her energy you can see comes from the her, her, from her passion for music you know what I mean and you can see like I watched like I watched like behind the scenes of her concerts and you can see she's she's exhausted you know what I mean and she manages to balance being this businesswoman yeah. and this performer and then also keeping her personal life you know what I mean all separate and run it all together like there's just something about her that I look I look up to her so much because I'm just like she's human like I know a lot of yeah. people sometimes I think you must be an alien because there's no way that you could do all this <laughs> stuff but I just think that she's in such like there's a reason she's one of the best and she put out this this um video I can't remember what, exactly what it's for but um before my music I started doing music she um she said something along the lines of like don't just dream about it do it don't yes. look at what somebody else is doing and and critique them like what focus on what you're doing and if you want something go do it yeah and I remember being quite like unsure of oh do I do I talk to my manager and I do do I record music and it's just more the thing of like I realized that I've only really got one life and do I want to look back in like a nine to five job and think I could have actually done music it, it could have been something that you know m was amazing and um yeah she's just someone I, I hugely look up to I know a lot of people say that but definitely Beyonce yeah do you know, and that's a great figure, you know, not just because she's yeah. a massive celebrity, but she's she's not been around for a couple of years and blown and then just kind of fell off. She's yeah. consistently made music. Not only that, she got into acting. She she started to Yeah. I'm I'm I definitely know that you know the movies that she's been in, right? <laughs> or yeah. at least some of the movies if you if she's kind of yeah, one of your figures. Them. Yeah. And do you know what? Yeah. She's a good actor as well. Like there's some good movies out there. Um, yeah. and that's what I like about musicians that kind of go into other things as well. You know, there will be some people out there, you know, fans that say, oh, why have you gone into this, you know, and you haven't stuck to music. The simple fact is because you're that successful at that point, you can do these things because these doors open. So, so why not? You know? Yeah. And, um, I think it's the same with kind of any celebrity figure as well. It, it's, it, it opens doors, um, like for me it's 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 good to have a a motivational kind of figure or or kind of you know some kind of moral code to go by when when yeah. doing something when you when you're trying to be successful because it it when you enjoy it it's it's easier isn't it you know like mm. you're doing your singing you know you're going to you know you're going to the studio and making music it's easier because you enjoy it and 100%, yeah 
I think with what you said at the beginning as well about Beyonce, you know, how she was able to balance her life um, yeah. with regards to work and, you know, everything else, you know, personal life and everything. I think that's probably sparked something within you to say to you to, to say to yourself that you can do that as well. If, if yeah. you know, if and when, hopefully, um, you get to a point, you know, where, you know, more doors open for you, it, it, it kind of subconsciously puts that kind of hope in you before you've even got there yeah and that's why i think it's important to get like a motivational figure yeah definitely 100 percent. and um do you you know is there kind of any artists that you would love to work with realistically so is the kind of yeah yeah so is there any artist that in particular you're like do you know what i'm going to release this album and if it gets to a certain point i'm going to ask my manager to do this and that and try and set it up is there is there any particular in mind because they might you you never know like i have a lot of artists watching my my videos that they might see this and (laughs) you never honestly stranger things have happened yeah um i'd probably say oh god there's actually so many and um I think I somebody I'd always like because when I was younger and to be honest even now um I used to thing where like I know a lot of girls do this but you know when you have the mirror and the song comes on and you pretend to perform I used to yeah. really get into it and um Ty the creator who's a rapper I think he's oh, just yeah. he's amazing and I'm not just because of um the rapping just the production of his songs and I'm, I'm a yeah. real love for when I can hear the violins and I can you know what I mean yes. the, the little intricate detail oh my god mm. it I'm in love with the production of his songs and um, I've always, always wanted to like perform with him. That would just be insane. Um, SZA as well. Um, okay. She's just insane vocally. Yeah. Um, and her production as well. Um, yeah. I think, I mean, there's so many others as well. I mean, also, um, a British a British artist would be, um, oh God, I'm trying to think. Name's just completely gone from my head. Um, Laura Kana. Um, okay. He, oh yeah, I, I really love um his music as well. Um, and just to work with a British artist as well, that'd be cool because obviously UK. Um, yeah. God, there's so many though. Um, it would be a dream come true. But yeah. Is there any kind of artist from the UK that you necessarily wouldn't work with but listen to? You know, like the big the big UK artists. Is there any in particular? So it doesn't matter what genre, really. Um. Um. Going back to Skepta, probably, yeah, because yeah. Um, Skepta I really admire just because I remember I was watching, um, I think it was Glastonbury. Yeah. And um, I actually cried watching his set just because he, like, I respect artists that can shine light on matters. Like, yes. that, you know, really important matters. Like, I remember, because I used to take ballet when I was younger. I did Russian ballet, so it's quite strict and, you know, um, really painful, actually. But um, <laughs> I remember him... Um, talking about well, he did this dance piece he, he didn't personally do it but he had um, two um, dancers come on and um, they basically were shining light on the fact that um, ballerinas didn't actually have um, shoes that match their skin colour and um, it was just amazing what he did and like now obviously they do have this because obviously the world is moving forward with it and it made me cry because I was just like I remember looking back at when I did ballet and I was kind of I wasn't really accepted in that just because it just wasn't for me like it just wasn't like I don't have to explain it it just wasn't really like a thing that people of my skin color did basically yeah. um so to see that and him shine light on that in at Glastonbury with so many people watching like I could, I just was so inspired by it and really looked up to him for that um and his music's great as well so yeah <laughs> 100% I love I love an artist or a group of artists you know in the same band that that carry um, some form of message to try and, like Dave, you know, Dave from the UK. Yeah. I, I love his music and um, the song that he did, Black, um, and, and he, he yeah. did that live. Wow, amazing. You know, basically saying that, that more change needs to happen. And, do you know, it's, for me, artists take a massive risk, I feel. Yeah when Definitely. they're on a massive platform and they've got something to say within the music because then labels and professional people will say that's not kind of, you know, this is not going to sell as good or doesn't look as good professionally or whatever, which is I completely disagree with. Um, I think it's, it, you just kind of develop a deeper respect 
for yeah. artists that do that and and it makes you want to support them yeah. on a, on a kind of you know do you know what I'm going to I'm going to buy the next album or buy the next single or go and watch them live and and support that artist you know and um so yeah I can really really empathize and understand with what you're saying there you know mm -hmm. um artists that, that carry some form of message um should be heard more definitely yeah 100 percent um so yeah i've uh, really enjoyed the interview so far i do have some more questions um the next question has got to be where do you see yourself in say let's say the next 12 months so at the end of 2021 where would you like to be um with regards to your to your music and and things like that um I would definitely love to have my EP or album, whatever it's going <laughs> to turn out to be, to be out. Yeah. Um, and just to um, have, obviously, the engagement so far has been amazing, like a dream come true. But just to have, um, to be recognised more, obviously, in the industry. Um, and probably, like, if everything settles down with COVID, um, I would love to... Um, be like an opening act for somebody on tour yes. that'd be really cool because i would love to experience i've always dreamed of performing so to experience that um would be amazing who's trying to get into my room <laughs> i'm doing an interview it's okay i apologize don't worry um, about it it's all good yeah um sorry my husband's bringing my cup too thank you very much Hi, Vicky. thank you very much how Sorry. nice is that? How nice is that? <laughs> she's so she's so nice. In a, like... Thank you. <laughs> don't worry about it. Honestly, it's it's completely fine. Um, <laughs> don't don't stress about it at all. Um, going back to what you were saying before with regards to performing live, I love it. I mean, you must have seen the kind of time where Jay Huss got out of jail and and Drake brought him on stage. Um, yeah which was incredible. And I love to see artists do that type of thing um, because big artists as well, because it, it, it kind of shows that these big artists have kind of passion for, for other artists that let's say don't have enough exposure or they feel like they don't have enough exposure. Like the amount of love that Drake's shown to the UK scene, I feel yeah. is just massive. He's got no reason. You and know, the fact that he brings in like there are people who've been on his tracks who don't have any recognition at all yes. but you can see he knows they have so much talent and yeah like it i really respect artists that um boost others you know what i mean because there's a lot of people that don't really want to do that like they only want to work with bigger artists but yeah i love that i think it's good as well that you're starting now you know you're 18 mm. it's it's a good age to for me the younger the better chris brown got in into music very very young you yeah. know, from, I don't know, he was a kid, maybe nine, ten, even younger. Yeah. A little bit older, something. And um, luckily enough, he, he blown onto the scene. And, and as you know, he's gone into many kind of different films and acting and, and different things like that. So the entertainment industry for me is, is very kind of rewarding if you put the work in. Yeah. Um, and, and I think, I think you, you know, there's a space for everyone as long as you're consistent. Um, yeah, you know, so one hundred percent. But yeah, is there is there anything else that you'd like to add? Is there anything that you want to tell um, YouTube? You know, is is there anybody that you want to shout out? Is there anything that you want us to know? Any singles dropping? Any any like things that we need to look out for? Is there anything you want to say? Just um, yeah, look out for the new single that will be out very very soon. Um, and yeah just a massive thank you I, I still can't believe that the amount of support i've got so far like i really don't like i feel like i'm in a dream to be honest like, i feel like i'm gonna yeah. wake up and be like oh okay that was cool but um yeah it's um hopefully just the beginning of what i want to do so um yeah and thank you so much for interviewing me as well no problem at all it's it's all my pleasure i always try and find artists that you know um that are just different that just sound different got something to them um, when I come across your music, that's why I reached out because I knew, right, okay, like, you know, she's got a kind of good following, 
you know, and the the views were building because what you usually find with 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 regards to YouTube anyway is that artists will only get half a million views or a million views plus mm. if they've got so many subscribers. And what was interesting yeah. to me with your music was you've got this many subscribers, so you haven't got half a million yet. No, definitely not. I'm assuming you will do. I'm very confident Hopefully. you will. Um, <laughs> But you've still got half a million views on your previous uh, song that's dropped very recently as well, um, which was yeah. which was incredible to me. So I wish you all the best of luck to 2021. I'll keep an eye out for your new single as well. Um, and I'll promise you this now as well. I'll drop a reaction to it. So when your when your single comes out, I'll like I said to you before, you know, I'd be more than happy to promote your music because um, I think you've got talent. So on your next single, I'll be more than happy to promote that, no problem. Thank you, thank you so much. I'd love to watch it if you were just saying loads of negative things about it, like, I don't like this. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not that type of reactor, you know. <laughs> there is them type of reactors out there that, that rip things to shreds, but... Yeah, I've you know, seen those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, Esther. Um, and again, I will... Me. No problem. I will keep an eye out for your music. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. If you have watched the video and you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel below. Hit the notifications bell. Again, guys, like I've said at the beginning of the video, I will drop Esther's official YouTube channel in my comments. So if you want to go and check her out as well, please go and subscribe there uh, and go check her out on Instagram as well. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe, be well, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.